Well, again, Gwen, I do want to thank you and the commission. This is uh, such an honor for me, and I appreciate, too, Senator Biden, getting to meet you finally also and getting to debate with you, and I would like more opportunity for this. I like being able to answer these tough questions without the filter even of the mainstream media, kind of uh, telling uh, viewers what they've just heard. I'd rather be able to just speak to the American people like we just did, and it's so important that the American people know of the choices that they have on November 4th. I want to assure you that John McCain and I, we're going to fight for America. We're going to fight for the middle class, average, everyday American family like mine. I've been there. I know what the hurts are. I know what the challenges are. And thank God I know what the joys are, too, of living in America. We are so blessed. And I've always been proud to be an American. And so has John McCain. We have to fight for our freedoms also. Economic and our national security freedoms. It was Ronald Reagan who said that freedom is always just one generation away from extinction. We don't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. We have to fight for it and protect it and then hand it to them so that they shall do the same. Or we're going to find ourselves spending our sunset years telling our children and our children's children about a time in America back in the day when men and women were free. We will fight for it, and there is only one man in this race who has really ever fought for you, and that's Senator John McCain. Thank you, Governor. Senator Biden. Gwen, thank you uh, for doing this, and the commission, and Governor, it really was a pleasure getting to meet you. Um, look, folks, this is the most important election you've ever voted in your entire life. No one can deny that the last eight years we've been dug into a very deep hole here at home with regard to our economy and abroad in terms of our credibility. And uh, there's a need for fundamental change in our economic philosophy as well as our foreign policy. And Barack Obama and I don't measure progress toward that change based on whether or not we cut more regulations and how well CEOs are doing or giving another $4 billion in tax breaks to the Exxon Mobiles of the world. We measure progress in America based on whether or not someone can pay their mortgage, whether or not they can send their kid to college, whether or not they're able to, when they send their child like we have abroad, or I'm about to, abroad, and John has as well, I might add, to fight, that they're the best equipped and they have everything they need. And when they come home, they're guaranteed that they have the best health care and the best education possible. You know, in the neighborhood I grew up in, uh, it was all about dignity and respect, a neighborhood like most of you grew up in. And in that neighborhood, there was filled with women and men, mothers and fathers, who taught their children if they believed in themselves, if they were honest, if they worked hard, if they loved their country, they could accomplish anything. We believed it, and we did. That's why Barack Obama and I are running, to reestablish that certitude in our neighborhoods. Ladies and gentlemen, my dad used to have an expression. He'd say, champ, when you get knocked down, get up. Well, it's time for America to get up together. America's ready, you're ready, I'm ready, and Barack Obama is ready to be the next president of the United States of America. May God bless all of you, and most of all, for both of us, selfishly, may God protect our troops.